Hey everybody, welcome back to GWN. I am Noctare, your host. If you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, pop over to patreon.com slash Noctare and uh, become a patron. And I got a new email address, gamingwithnock at gmail.com. So any comments, suggestions, or if uh, you just want to say hi, feel free to drop me an email. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what's probably my all-time favorite of all the attack strategies that I've used. And that would be Shimmy or Minion Drops, as is also known. And uh, this attack strat, I tell you, I start using this really, really early on all my games, including my Hyper Rush games. The first thing I upgrade is always, always, always Beta Minions. Always. That's the first one because that's my core troop. But as soon as I get to Builder Hall 7, where I get the dropship, I immediately start upgrading the dropship alongside of the Beta Minions. So I'll, I'll get them up to level 14 and then start working on my dropship. If I jump up to Builder Hall 8, I'll get the beta minion to level 16 and then work on my dropship. But that's that's where I feel the most comfortable is with these air attacks. And a lot of players think that it's not as effective the higher up you go, but that's just not true. It really isn't. And uh, I've got four replays here today from Ben Jen Stark down at Oz Builders to show just how effective this strat really is even up high the higher that you go. Now, Ben lives right around 5,500 to 5,800 at any given time. And toward the end of the season, he gets closer to 6,000. That's um, that's some pretty good, solid players. I mean, we're talk talking typically top 200 in the uh, leaderboards globally. So we're not we're not looking at bases that are, are necessarily easy or underwhelming here. And the base designs, because we use common base designs throughout the game, uh, typically your custom base designs just you know they're all right but they don't usually work as well and if they do they only work for a day or two but the base designs are usually pretty solid bases as well and Ben gets in the in the 70s and even into the 80 percentiles without any problem at all and typically you know two-star results Not everybody has their off times and that such so I mean that's you know he'll have some that aren't gonna get up that high but most of the time that's where he goes and that's how he gets up so high in the trophies and he uses almost exclusively the uh, the shimmy strat. This is this is his thing, and he uses it better than most, really, really well. the The bases themselves, most people, because the meta is ground, and I don't think there's any denying that most people will design their base more to defend against ground. Their upgrade path. You saw in these first two uh, replays one of the firecrackers was still red. Well, that's because most people will upgrade ground defenses before they'll go to the air defenses. Firecrackers and air bombs, all they can hit is air. That's it. But on the other hand, things like, say, the Mega Tesla, the Hidden Tesla, the Roaster, uh, the Archer Towers, those all hit both ground and air. So you're gonna typically upgrade those first if you're focused on ground attacks because you get the double benefit. And then you're going to come in from behind and hit your ground only defenses, which are going to be the cannons, double cannons, and, uh, well, yeah, I, I guess, and, and the crushers, and I guess to a degree the guard posts. Although the guard posts can pull the uh, the balloons, the dropships, off the path you want them to go into. So in some ways it's, it's really a double up. It, it hits both ground and air in that sense. I can't begin to tell you the number of times my dropships have gone awry because they decided to lock on a, a barbarian or an archer that's running around down below them. So in that sense, they, they can work both ways as well. But that's the that's kind of the treatise, the, the way people think about how to upgrade their troops within the meta itself. And I've always said the meta affects everything you do, so that's a good example of it. If people do that, though... If they design their bases to defend more strongly against ground than air, and they upgrade ground before air, well, that provides a bit of an advantage to those of us that are airbenders. It allows us to go in and more effectively use our air troops. And that's exactly what you see in all four of these replays, and what you'll see whenever somebody who's a good minion drops attacker, shimmy attacker, uh, comes in and hits the uh, hits the bases using this this strike now you can bring everything in in a single line which i think is what ben does on most of these and typically you know you don't want to just spam it that that doesn't usually work you want to come in kind of slower with your drop ships so that 
as they're going down, they're being more or less backfilled, if you will, by other dropships to continue that tanking. Because that is the, the primary purpose, is the dropship tanking for the beta minions. But you can also come in with kind of a split design from different angles. <clears throat> in one of these replays, I think it was the last one, Ben comes in with five of his dropships in the top right, but then comes with one at the bottom. And then a few beta minions behind that to, to do the destruction. That's really good if you have light defenses in another section. You can use just one dropship to tank. And these level 16 dropships, they last a while. They'll, they'll get you through. They'll, they'll, they'll tank for the beta minions long enough to uh, be able to get more going. So there, there's a few different ways you can deploy. Each one of them works out really well. Again, if you're experienced with it, you practice with it. And I recommend this strategy highly because I use it all the time. And here you just saw some great, great replays that uh, really make it work. So I'm going to go ahead now and out of here and uh, work on some more of my own attacks. i got a long way to go for the end of the season here. If you got questions or comments, drop them down below or email me. The uh, email address is on the screen. And I thank you much for sticking around at the end of the video. Y'all take care and keep on clashing. Bye-bye.